hello guys uh, welcome for uh, another chapter so before diving into analyze or do vulnerability assessment on any application uh, let us know basically how this android uh, you know os works let us deep dive into android architecture so that it will give us a more idea how does the app works and uh, like that uh, android os particularly which makes our assessment or which makes our uh, you know task much easier so uh, let us uh, go to today's topic is the android architecture so let us let us talk or let us uh, you know uh, see how does android, android architecture uh, is and uh, how does an android app compiles uh, and how does it executes and what are the security mechanisms uh, that has been <coughs> provided from android os right so first thing is yep this is the android architecture so basically it has uh, five layers one is first one is like you know like, like if you go from bottom up approach uh, the linux kernel as we all know the android runs a linux like linux uh, platform or base you know the more than two billion devices ha has used by linux like you know, we have that wonderful meme where windows and linux will be fighting that's what like you know uh, every mobile or android or in a sense like android not a mobile android is built on linux kernel <laughs> so the other further layers are platform libraries android runtime uh, where like, yeah, basically like linux kernel where it is used to talk to the hardware parts of the uh, mobile right and platform libraries and AR, like art uh platform libraries adds to invoke the particular library which which gets uh, invoke uh, which gets associated with the linux kernel hardware things we'll tell how it works uh, with an example and art it gives a uh, like you know dalvik vm zygote and other uh, dependencies libraries uh, you know if you come to zygote zygote is a very big topic to task you know uh, you can uh, see a uh, like uh, some youtube video or like if i get a time i will make a like another video like how do, like what happens when you click on a app icon like in a sense when you click on one any app how does the app starts what happens behind the thing how the activities in you know, all how you know like process will execute with that is a very awesome uh, you know thing which happens in android will 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 make a separate video on that so other further layers application framework uh, which causes the api things and the main thing is application so these are the five fundamental layers of android architecture so to to, to demonstrate to, to tell how it really works let us take a, a camera right so suppose you want to open a camera so you open a camera so particular api uh, with respect to the camera have will gets invoked with the application framework and it creates a separate uh, week uh, vm or when you click on the icon it, it like it creates a zygote process right uh, which calls out the dependencies or a libraries associated with the camera have where the libraries will call out the camera driver to open up a camera in the behind the scene all these process will get invoked like suppose when you open a as i said camera app so it invokes a particular api of the camera which uh, creates an environment to run which uh, involves all the dependencies which required to open it up where it has to i mean like it calls the linux kernel to open a camera driver so this is this is how the android uh, architecture is developed and it creates a you know a unique sandbox environment for a particular app like you know uh, whether you uh, researched or not uh, every app in android has its own sandbox uh, which allows uh, yeah which doesn't allow an app to communicate with the other app uh, in a sense like in uh, android suppose you have uh, 50 apps a uh, app cannot communicate with the other app. That is the scenario. That is the basic concept of uh, sandbox uh, thing. Uh, that is also a large, uh, you know, deep uh, concept when we talk about the Linux kernel, how it works, how sandboxing is done, how the root privilege of an application differs from non-root. And that is also one of the vast topic in Android. Linux is so amazing, guys. If we go deeper into deeper, deeper, there are, there are a lot of things we need to dive. So this is a basic uh, architecture, uh, uh, like how the Android is. I'm not going to explain each and everything. Uh, I just give an idea, like how does the process works uh in a android way so these are the 
five fundamentals let us see uh, next like you know what happens when an android application is compiled or where is run uh, yeah you all know right you know android is basically a uh, java code or uh, like it is similar to java thing so how it differs from java compilation android compilation we see that so when you uh, run a java code so like the java compiler invokes which converts the java code into java bytecode which allocates the java bytecode to run on a jvm so this is a typical java compilation goes on but when comes to the android uh, it was like a little bit different like you know when the android code is compiled it converts into java bytecode then whatever java bytecode is uh, like which is available it is converted into dex file by using a uh, dex compiler uh, and that will be comp uh, like you know uh, uh, like, yeah like with the use of uh, dex compiler it uh, converts into dynamic bytecode we call it as dex files uh, which gets invoked and ran i'm um, like run on a uh, like dvm or a dalvik virtual machine uh, like dalvik like virtual machine understands only a uh, dex classes like dex files it doesn't understand for java classes so that's why dalvik uh, uh, like in a byte code i mean like whatever the java byte code we have we will uh, translate it into a dynamic byte code it is automated process you need not to do anything uh, like you know android studio as its own thing it will do all the things behind the screen so this is how uh like you know android code gets compiled uh, right so other than these when it comes to the android uh, security parts uh, i see linux which is uh, getting trend it's very good and uh, uh you know uh upcoming the apis of uh, android like android 11 android 12 which has a very 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 strong features but android you know lower versions of android like 4 5 6 is like there are like there are so many vulnerable uh, endpoints so whoever the security uh, researchers or hard hackers whoever the malicious things they wanted to do they always choose a lower version so that they will be having a uh, you know exploitable endpoints more uh, right so apart from these i have made one uh, x mind map which we, which is very amazing uh, we will be sharing all the mind maps uh, in our uh, groups right so if you want to be a part of group check out the description for the link so this is a like one a small my like mind map about the like android oh, oops okay mm, yeah uh, android architecture as a show climate kernel libraries arts application framework and application how it works and coming to the main thing is uh, like application components like you know if you develop any android application uh, basic things are uh, like you know android components and life cycle there are a lot of things basic things you need to know uh let, let me give a small idea on this like what are these mm, first thing is activities activities is is uh, nothing but the screen or a ui which you see when you open the app right so that is called activity services is uh, like you know something runs behind the screen or background the uh, i'm like running the background process those are called services in like in terms of android uh like language it also called as with which uh, does a logical operation a uh, broadcast receiver uh, which responses or reacts to the uh, broadcast announcement suppose you know uh, uh or uh like you know uh if you set up uh, one uh, work like you know battery saver mode if at all if a charger uh, goes uh charge goes behind 40 uh, percent uh like if automatically a battery like that there is a settings like if a charge goes uh, less than 40 percent uh, like, like invoke the battery saver so when it goes to 40 percent like there will be notification so which helps which uh like which sends a broadcast to like, all the apps then battery saver have will invokes and uh, removes all the apps from the back like you know which is running background so broadcast is very something like which is which sends a message or notification to all the uh, like applications uh, like in the app content providers uh as nothing but like you know which helps to uh share a data or get a data from uh, storage uh sometimes it shows it like might be through shared preference or some internal storage external storage 
so providers uh, is used in android to get a data or like you know to do uh, like sending and getting that data from a storage and other thing is android manifest and intent uh, intent is just like you know you use it to transfer action or some kind of you know work relay between the activities we can see uh, android manifest we'll talk about uh, you know more when like in a coming dates manifest is a very very amazing topic so other than that uh, these all are some like you know ui based things it's not much necessary for us so this is what like you know basic thing we want to know about uh, android before uh, we start our analysis things like you know and the most important thing is how data is stored in uh, android uh, it can be like you can store a data in a sqli database or internal memory or shape preference will tell what is shape preference how we can get data from shape preference and all how we can see a shared preference data in upcoming videos right so this is a basic information which we all uh, must need it before we start our vulnerability assessment uh, or mobile pt um, right so if you if you guys got any doubt uh, you can feel free to dm or uh, like put your uh, you know queries below so if you like the video or drop a comment drop a like and share it to your friends let all get educated right see you again in the next video bye bye